The question is that the Federation Chamber do now adjourn, and I call the Honourable Member for Chifley. Thanks, uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, I rose to speak about the Mount Druitt and Area Community Legal Centre, uh, which has operated successfully in our area uh, out of a building in the shopping district in Rudy Hill since 1997. It handles more than uh, 1,100 cases a year, two-thirds new clients, and the, uh, the centre itself services 44 of Blacktown LGA's 48 suburbs. It's astounding the number of suburbs it help, helps out as well as 13 suburbs of the Penrith LGA, so that's a catchment of close to 400,000 people. And last year alone it uh, gave over the phone advice in 1,300 matters saw 478 clients face to face, and it represented those clients in civil, administrative tribunal, local court, superannuation complaint tribunals, fair work com uh, commission matters, uh, and so it's doing a wide range of things. And in its early years the centre became so successful on a two, three day roster of equivalent of one and a half solicitors, it was totally overwhelmed with cases. Now, the legal assistance se sector, I hate to uh, admit, and I'm saddened to hear, uh, is being subjected to $43 million in cuts over the forward estimates, an astounding figure and a uh, terrible figure at that. And there's no funding certainty for community legal uh, centres beyond that. Now, uh, this centre um, does not just operate on funding alone. It's actually had support from the corporate sector. Uh, in 2001, Blake Dawson Waldron, now known as Ashurst, I felt it would be in the community's best interest that the Mount Druitt and Area Legal uh, Centre uh, have its doors open more days. And for almost 10 years, Ashurst offered their services free of charge to clients, a tremendous example of corporate Australia pitching in in an area of need. And they based themselves full time uh, and were able to operate uh, uh, the service there, but eventually they had to withdraw their full time presence, but still continued. Uh, member for Shortland, you might be interested in knowing they still continue to provide 25,000 a year from this 20, legal fund. 25,000 a year, and so which is astounding uh, in itself too. Now, historically, the centre has been funded by the federal government with current funding of 220,000, and in an area of high need, this centre works miracles with having the fifth lowest of funding compared to others. By comparison, Hunter Community Legal Centre gets 581,000 a neighbouring Macquarie Legal Centre, nearly 500,000 as well. And, uh, I was proud to say that the uh, former Labor government signed a deed guaranteeing 50,000 per year for three years, but after just one year it was cancelled by the coalition. And that's a $100,000 loss, and it absolutely is, Member for Shortland, a shame because it's been a massive hit. It would have provided one solicitor working three days a week, and that funding should and must be restored. To make matters worse, the recurrent funding to the community legal centres around the nation, as I said, is, is, cut, is subject to savage cuts. So the value of this service, I'd say, it cannot be measured just in dollars alone because it's helping maintain social cohesion when families are in trouble uh, and they can't afford to pay for legal advice or, represent, uh, or, or legal representation. Um, and if you can consider combined state and federal funding for the legal centres, um, there are a lot of others that get a lot more than this centre and yet this centre is potentially being squeezed out from an area of high need after 18 years of high quality service. So it's certainly punching above its weight and we need this federal government to actually support it on a matter of equity and to ensure that people that are on low incomes are not denied access to legal representation.